Hello again. We're working with half angle formulas here, and actually these three are half angle identities, and uh, these three are half angle formulas. And the reason why I wrote the half angle identities before the formulas is so that you can derive where it comes from. A lot of students still don't like that, they don't want to see any proof whatsoever, but once in a while I have to show it to them no matter what. Basically, another way to write sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine, uh, uh, cosine of 2 theta over 2. Another way to write cosine squared of theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. And another way to write tangent squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus cosine 2 theta. And what you do is you derive these half angle formulas from that. And what I mean by that is I'm going to say, okay, if I want to figure out what half the angle is, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each theta that I see in half. So if this was theta, it's going to be theta over 2. And since this was 2 theta, it's going to be theta. Same thing here, theta over 2, theta, bam. And theta over 2, theta, theta. Now actually, when it comes to half angle formulas, there are actually a couple uh, much more student-friendly ways to do the half angle of tangents. Uh, most books don't actually carry this one, that's why I went ahead and put that. But your book, if you're studying trig right now, is probably going to carry the two easier ways of doing it. I just like this one because it kind of proves this and this. And then I end up showing my students later on the two easier formulas because they don't like this one. But something for you to think about. Uh, I believe one of them is one minus, without the square root, it would be one minus cosine of theta over sine of theta. And the other one is the sine of theta over one plus the cosine of theta. Yeah, that means wait, one minus cosine of theta over sine of theta, and sine of theta over one plus cosine of theta. Makes sense to me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a very simple example and see how it goes with that. Uh, but for right now, have a good day. Goodbye.